you know, like they say, there's that phrase, like, let your, your freak flag fly. Like, I, I feel comfortable letting my flag fry. Fry. Fly? <laughs> fry. I do not fry flags, let alone my sp uh, sp uh, flag. I don't often make videos when I'm, like, real moderately sploot. I let my sploot flag fly. Hello, little peoples. I am Michelle. This is my wheelchair, Betty, and you're watching Marvel's NYC. And today I'm going to talk about... What was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sploot musical. Oh, ooh, that'd be cool. What? Oh, Sploot musical? I would go watch that. Oh, how would I do that? Winter, Sploot, tricky. Because in my experience, for me personally, because I have a, a myriad, is myriad the right word? A collection? I have, well, whatever. A menagerie. Oh my god, myriad and menagerie are like awesome words. I love them. And then, um, right. So I really have to make a conscious effort to not just... I don't remember what we're going to talk about. It was winter, it was winter and splutness and how I'm... Yeah, yeah. so I'm prone, I'm prone to uh, splutness. I work very hard on it. Yes, I do. I don't often make videos when I'm like real moderately sploot. I work very as you can see, it's a lot of fucking effort. Good to create representation and it's good to sort of document. Um you know, because sometimes when I see people like me on YouTube, it's very healing. So I thought maybe it'd be good for me to but then it's like I don't make videos when I'm in like modern sploot mode because it's like I can't get a fucking sentence out. Because it's like you're just it's a bit overwhelming sometimes because it's like you're just constantly behind because you're not processing things in real time. So you're just constantly behind. There's just constantly this like workload piling up, and so it's like, what do you want to eat? And uh, my brain's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up on everything else here, and you want me to decide what I want to eat? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What do you want from me? <laughs> you know, yesterday it was snowing out. So, like, you know, things were coming from the sky. I wasn't shocked. I knew this was something. And my brain's like, wait a minute, we know this, we know this, we know this. But it was just not processing what it was in real time. And so my, you know, I was talking to my mother, and uh, now I'm like, there's like, I'm like, there's, it's sky dandruff. And she goes, no, it's called snow. I'm like, snow? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing that I don't get about language. I mean, I agree with her that my term sky dandruff is one long, and then two, perhaps not the most appetizing. Though I don't really, care, I don't really care for snow very much. I don't find it very beautiful. But the word snow, like if you stop and think about the word snow, what is it about the word snow that would suggest white stuff falling from the sky? There's nothing. In, I mean, I mean, you know what the word snow means, so you know what it. That's white stuff. But there's nothing in the word itself that would suggest that that is white stuff. I mean, why not call it sky fluff or something? Or you know, just I mean, like sky fluff is a great. That's better. Originally, I was like like sky dandruff. That's Brad has a negative connotation. I think sky fluff. That sounds enjoyable. I think. Oh look, there's sky fluff. You know, or like um. I went, oh, you know what? I think, all right, there's the word snowflakes. Flakes. That's probably why I was thinking of sky dandruff. My brain really meant snowflakes. Okay, yeah. Same time, people like Michelle, you have to go along with what, like, what people have agreed is language. And that, and in order to function within society, and that is true to an extent, one can also argue that language is created, and therefore someone created the words, so why can't I contribute to language and create more words? So, but I try to balance that. I think one thing that I do struggle with, but what I do really, 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 really find frustrating is when we're in, like, 
there's a shitload of political fuckery, and there's a, a tax reform bill, and there's net neutrality, and there's all these different things going on, and there's like the slavery situation in, in, in Libya, and you know, I mean, among injustice and injustice and injustice and injustice and so on and so forth, and I can't even keep up with like lunch, and then it's like I'm trying to keep up with everything else, and like, because I feel like they don't take action, then. It's like, ah, but then also, ah, because I can't always take action, and it's just like, ah, and it's just, that, that is something that I really struggle with, especially in these times, um, so yeah, 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 um, I can say, um, that, um, wow, <sighs> all right, my brain feels a little too, like, Part of the struggle that I have when I'm not really split is that, well, okay, so I don't always process things in real time. It's a spectrum, right? Sometimes it's not at all. Sometimes I'm like, wow, focusing. I am recording this video to to accomplish things. And that is talking about being split all your time. Right, so it's kind of tricky because I am, me personally, and again, this is like talking about my own experience here, is that... I let my sweet flag fly.